Really, Brezzo, who's had a good laning stage, and he's had an amazing laning stage. He's helped them work here, but it's going to be up to Brezzo to kind of think of how he helps his team get back into this game. I mean, it seems like he just wants to play as a semi carry, which I'm not opposed to, but um, somebody's going to have to give up something, and right so far it's been Oh, giving up the Black Crystal. It's going to be given up as a live bolt. I said it. It looks so pretty, especially when it is die on impact. No chance. That's in trouble, though. Got another yeah, great here, but... Oh, oh, so nice. Carapace. <laughs> yeah, he, you can tell he was going for old 11, though. He shows up all of a sudden, and Nyx Assassin will fall as a result. Now, Nisha needs to run. The double stun coming out. Oh, must the imagine. avalanche and the double kill. That map must be in the bottom portion of the map. So let's just get this free roast out of the way. They are actually going to do Let's just porting up here. Well, fight is... this one. That's yeah, only the TPs. I don't know about this. A little bit late. Like, yeah, they are. Moonlight Shadows acting off the bat. Lich is in trouble. Can he maybe get the chain dropped off? He can, so that's going to be a little bit of damage. Comes back and forth. Here comes Nisha. This time, the Anderson's picked up by Ludo. And now the Omni Slash cutting down players. That bat right is first. Mirana's going to be able to leap away. But two are dead. Hey, kill Shadow Beam. Gets scraped up. He's got the Aegis. But what a find. They get Rez on the back lines. That's a big, big kill. He was doing all the damage in this fight, and Zayat's dead as well. Extreme game. The style as well. I'll take that time to force much. So I'm probably just going to let him. And go back to continuing your farm towards progression of more items, but a four player smoke from Secret, meanwhile, happening as they wrap around towards mid. The last one. Tiny, tiny but. The kill where Green Gaming are a little bit split up. They are going to get a revenge kill on Zayats here. And Pumper Rides can be beekeeping and everything that next play. They don't have to use the slaughter initiation. They've also got the tiny blink now as well. Checking the triangle first. They scanned it. Nothing hits. They're right. W. Over here, secret. it's Bat Rider in the tree. They seem aware of this on the secret side, but not aware enough for it to toss back. They get uh, turn kill though. That's a chain frost. The sinister's getting this little lot of damage. Yeah, oh, he's getting lines of trouble on Old Eleven. He jumps up instead of the back ledge. Right there's the left. That's a dead battle beat, actually. That's what happened right there. Old Eleven. He gets the beat down on T. But at what? I mean, what, what's what's really your target at that point? We talked about Lich. You don't necessarily want to do it unless you're going to burst him before he casts anything. Obviously, they couldn't last time. Oh, that's an illusion, by the way. They takes a stun. He still finds a real one. He finds it. Looks like tiny. Well, heroes. Uh, that comes a shallow grave to save. Paparazzi, Chain of Frost. Bounce around. Good spread, though. UIW is dead after the shallow grave wars off. However, Slaughter's in. Old 11, he wants something. He can be being committed. The obvious line cuts down the next assassin on top of the right grave as well. But now, Paparazzi, he's feeling plenty of damage himself. Resolution setting his ground. He can be worn off. Another shallow grave for the save, but it's just delaying what feels like the inevitable. The Sinister. Gave Cole and says, You ain't going nowhere, paparazzi. Three dead, and let's go to Roshan, they say. Oh, yeah. Just hiding them around one by one. The BKBs looking pretty ineffective on the side of Extreme Gaming. They sound things off with a tiny kill as well. And that's the thing with Brave, is I think why Dazzle for a while fell off. He has made a comeback, um, I think, with some of the buffs of other spells, but it's not really a safe. Um, it's a delay. The hero has got so much vision on the map. With TA traps and observer wards, I think from the secret side, the game feels pretty comfortable because of the vision advantage. But you're, look, just looking at the mini map, you see it littered with these little green dots. That's a juggernaut. That's a great catch initially. The gaze pull in the grave again. It's going to save him initially, but for what yeah. cost? He's going to go on these slash, and that's pretty big in the end. He's spinning away. He's still alive. The Manta style. No. You saw, you saw the auto attack flying out from TA. Look at Extreme Game. It feels like they're just sitting in their base. They yeah. are going to five player smoke, though. And they feel like now is the time to make a play. So hard when you don't have that like good scouting or vision hero. And if their smoke pops, PYW is like, ah, oh, someone might be here, blink in, but you know, opportunity's already gone. Got him. He's up, he's got the target. This time much better on the Shadow Fiend. 65 seconds he's out for. He's got a buyback. You do not want to have to use that though. And the double flame break. This tiny, you ain't getting away. He gets a shallow grave. Old 11 will stun. PYW, though, he's still dying to the using everything to keep alive. And now Slaughter gets got the front line. Shadow Fiend did buy back with a blow up on his Slaughter. He buys back. Very short cooldowns. Like, Lasso's 110 seconds. It's kind of like the longest cooldown they're really playing around. Dire side, you know, they didn't commit any ultimates, but it's so hard for them to fight and move out of their base. They're very reliant on smokes when you're playing without good ways to scout. They're using SF Manta illusions to scout. But on the Radiant side, you've got Observer Wards, you've got TA Traps. Go for this XG. Yeah. It's definitely the 
best adjustment I think Seeker made. Like, there was this emphasis on SF coming into game three with Extreme Gaming first picking the hero, taking away from that dog. Best way to deal with the next right. assassin is kill it. He's not going to kill it, though. Unfortunately, not enough damage. Luke's spinning in front, but now he needs to fall back. Nope, he's spinning right back in. He's just going to get a hold right here. This Jalo Grand, Lotus Orb. No, I'm going to keep him alive. He's going to board off. No, I'm going to slash him down for 74 seconds. So they did kill TA. He's just going to bring him right back up, though. And that is XG falling to pieces. So is the Shadow Fiend. And GG, well played. Secret. Going to be matched up against T1 in the next round. What a, I mean, at this point, the lead was just too big for secret. The kills make it seem close, but...